Also, uh, enjoy this little cutscene from Tyson, who recently worked on Invader Zim Mental Performance. Really hope Zim, there's more to come with him outside of comics. Like, Netflix should pick that up as a whole series. did.
I'm serious, they're gonna have to pull out the big gun. Uh, they can't also go to Fox for help. Well, because now Disney owns the company. Uh, you, they're totally sure to survive. I'm hoping they're left still put him in more of a water. That's not the case I want, but I'll understand why. Alright, but they should be the last in the current MC he's in, like Captain America Civil War, Kitty War, Far From Home, Home, Homecoming, Endgame. Not the Disney Plus version. It will be living. So. Oh, like, I don't think that boy got. Oh, but then I realized just who it was. I sounded and how stupid this culture is. Like, you know? Yes, we'll 
Something? Yeesh. Captain Marvel. But the female Thor thing, uh, I'm a little iffy on, unless they do it right. We're talking about the real Thor, or Chris Evans, passing on the hammer. That doesn't happen. I don't see it happening. Oh. However, the Falcon is becoming Captain America, just like the comics. I see how we're now. It makes sense. Instead of Bucky Barnes. Bucky's been done before. Bucky has a ton of stuff that you put in his head.
awesome. Hopefully they'll bring Clary. Hey, but if not, I understand. And I mean, they still have the marching dice right? And this is gonna be an animated thing. But yeah, I'd like to see that. Marvel Zombies. Yeah, back to this game. It's made by Destroy Head. Head Cannon. And Pago West. Yes, this is the Nintendo Switch version. I think I almost got a PS4 for this, for Arkham Knight. I am this. Really, I like Sony, too, but I can't trust them with Spike. I hey, you know. Flynn 
right. W comics really freaky to like this, but I really like to see the Freedom Fighters for a turn, I miss them. For the love of God, can you not re-design them again? I already made a couple of things. Sally Acorn. I can't have a money. And extra figuring. Which are currently discontinued. trying there. 
I heard they remade the Sonic 3 and Knuckles sprites. Okay, like they used them as a base, and then added more animation strings to them. The X-Wing is game from the Sega Saturn.
Apparently somebody was able to go through this game's file and upload the Hotel Mario intro into that CD for Eggman. Doesn't die, and I'm so glad. I'm gonna have to throw that at you with Reek. The whole game takes place in the hotel. They knew what they were doing. Come on! No, you don't. Yeah, there should be two extra big rings around here. We can get the uh, last rim of them. That or I'll have to find them in flying paths. Somebody's not gonna be me. Somebody's gonna be me! 
Supersonic and fighting the Chaos Emeralds back in the more modern Sonic game. But that was kind of a weird first Sonic adventure, but it felt flat. That, I mean, like, like you spent all the a good amount of time trying to find the special Yeah, typical Robotnik, just dumping his trash wherever he feels like it. Er, Eggman. Oh. Eh? That certainly happened. Or get that GameCube version one. And yeah, those are things... And those are enemies from the... Wing Fortress Zone in Sonic Tail. Scratch was, I think, loosely based off of that. Wait a minute, what am I doing? Yeah, a lot of inspiration from the Wing Fortress Zone. But while well, trying to make it feel mid. Yeah! <laughs> 
Crud. Alright, no problems with the blue spears. Again, I was only able to get the super emerald as tails. It's on a Korean knuckles. Sorry if there was any static on my mic, I just wanted to check. It happened. Oh yes, this was awesome! <laughs> Kibo actually thought there was somebody else other than an upside down egg hand sprite. Like his uh, niece or something. I 
really like to see. Em, have like a niece or something. <laughs> Normally, I'm not one for Sonic of Seas, but. The omelet idea? Yeah, I just can't get enough of them. Well, that certainly did happen. Okay, that's it. Yeah, we're switching to Joy-Con. One minute. And we're taking on on this thing again. It's just better at supersonic. What I really like about, about Mr. Whitehead's engine that it nails the the, the, the effects, effects and techniques techniques used in, in older games like like the Super Nintendo oh, and whatnot to a T. Made by the very pixel. No promises here either. Oh, please tell me it's not from uh, Korean Knuckles. Probably, but I don't know. Well, Sonic and Knuckles versions of the special stages. Super Emeralds were added. As for those who complete the original Sonic 3 and Chaos Emerald challenges as an enhanced form form with a uh, hypersonic. Would you really like to see make a comeback, maybe? But just not with with stages like this. Yes, the originals were were nauseating enough for me as it is. Yes, somehow they reduced the nauseating effect. In Sonic me. It's still in there, hard. 
Absolute not not worth. Yeah, I know, I'm restarting this zone a lot.
Got him. Hey look, the so hang gliders from the Sonic 2 game gear. Here game.
Where things get interesting. Cause it looks like the good future. But when you reach the boss, which is you might know who, things start to get different. Normally, they aren't really that great in Sonic games, but 
of Hydra City, all these made except. Starting all over again? We are! Again, the water section is not that great, but Act 2! Just amazing. And they kinda kept most of that thing in the level zone. For Act 1, when they come with these things with both rides, I need the water for a thing of a I'm serious, Sonic would be a hippie if it was the 60s.
I mean, he already has it spelled out for you. Plus, he also worked with with Cube, a member of Cube groups known as the Resistance and the Freedom Fighters. I mean, it practically spells you out. Spells it out. Mario in the 60s? Probably more like, uh... It's hard to describe. Uh, if you'd probably go with more of the, uh, olden day stuff. No, well, Sonic will go with the more heavy thing. Let's just face it, he'll go with that. Yeah, I mean, he already has the defining characteristics of a hippie. And hating water is one of them. No offense to hippies, but that's just a fact. Hippies hate water. Hippies hate water. That was a song, apparently. I shouldn't be even old enough for this, but the stories I'm told. Wolf just lets me know. Yeah, they generally kept this whole act intact for Act 2, because Hydra City's second act was already amazing. However, the boss is completely different. And somewhat familiar. I also wouldn't mind an Eggman game with just my co-op, where you play as Eggman. Like, as a spin-off. I'm serious. But one of the best things about Sonic... Sonic is Eggman. Such an interesting character, and there's so much room for it. And besides the mean beam machine stuff. And Mike just nails the character. 
character. He, he, he is scary or is goofy or silly. Only as he wants with that character. Character, whatever it fits, it's Mike's got the mold for it. Sonic? 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 Way past uncool. So that was a glitch. Your way, Ed. Ed. Maybe if you're watching this, you can fix that. Maybe. I don't know. Oh, don't press the end. Yeah, Sonic was supposed to go there, but, uh, yeah. Anyway, I love the little headgear Tails has highlighting. What the? I only wanted a controller. There, what the heck? Yeah, no wonder Tails can stop all missiles and, and all kinds of guns to this thing. I think Sonic was probably getting sick of using himself as a living weapon. Also, Knuckles has his own individual ass. For, uh, this zone, cause he got, got booted off the tornado. Don't worry, he's fine. I mean, I mean that guy is way too tough. This part cracked me up right here. The egg train! <laughs> All aboard! Uh, ah. I also love how the tornado like tilts up and down. Down. Down with the sprites. 
and like how Tails' little strands of hair and ears flow with the wind. And that little pilot's cap he has. Yeah, Sonic does not look amused, babe. Can you blame a man? This would be any model all railroaders owners dream. Come on, don't pretend like he has model railroads. Oh, this is Eggman we're talking about. Oh, I mean, he's gotta have a hobby other than what he usually does. I mean, even Bowser has one. As a couple. Actually. Come on! Right from the beginning! Oh, Knuckles has just disappeared.
watch this. Yeah, this is kind of the reason why Tails installed guns and missiles into the tornado. I know that wasn't a real nap. Looks like he'll have to come back and fix that in the middle of the desert. Bill will not be happy about it. Love the little pinball aspects here. They're more than welcome. Well, uh, she's a bird yet. Hopefully we heard a star phone. Nope. That's the beginning. Yeah. 
This is pretty easy.
Yeah, you'll want to be supersonic for this boss. I know it's familiar to the actual boss in Oil Ocean. Then, but it has a little difference. Other than aesthetics. Those things. And it pulls down the... Platforms. Also, fun fact! Did you know that these submarines can actually, well... <laughs> maybe... Well, actually, for sure, can actually... Fly. Yeah, they ain't gonna last in the lava reef zone. I mean, it was covered in oil. And now you're putting it into a volcano. So it flew all the way to Angel Island. Again. Sonic's like all over the place here. Okay, I'm not gonna get a four can force it either. Either. It, it says from forces that this Sonic it, Sonic is from another dimension, but I'm not 100% sure. Or it could just be the past Sonic. I don't know. No, whatever works. Yeah, with Tails' is help, you can rev right this thing right up. Quickly. Yeah, one of my favorite zones from Sonic 3 is Knuckles, he's got even better with the loops. Loops in that top layer. There was the story here. Slightly reimagined Act 1. Oh, but they kept Act 2 just beautiful. 
Oh, with the rematch. No promises.
Oh! We did it! Well, it's a silver medal I'll, I'll take. Barely nothing. Somebody's been repurposing that epic egg launch machinery. I don't know, maybe not to use this place for mining? Ding, ding area? And technically owns the land! And back to the little planet. Jeez, Sonic's all over the place in this game. Really? Yeah, they really nailed the little effects, too. They're used in uh, games like this. Mr. Whitehead's the ending. Almost there. Kind of like Sonic 1's final boss.
Yeah! <laughs> 
Yeah, I think that's based off of the Gashapon. Basically, they're like little vending machines for Japan, I think. And they come in little caps. Oh, the toy. Oh, yeah, I think there's a couple of them starting to be put up in GameStop. It's a welcome addition because the toys in there are usually cooler than what you find in, find in your normal everyday hey, vending machine. Other than Super Balls. Super Balls are cool. Tails is still afraid of lightning. Oh yes, it's time for the final zone. If you don't have the M, but we do.
So what are we in exactly? Some sort of oversized death egg robot, I think. That is a super weapon. Probably. Knowing Eggman. Oh, he put stained glass in there. Neat. I don't think that's ordinary stained glass. The eyes glow. Woo! <laughs> 
That's it, I'm gonna destroy the next robot that makes me angry! Makes them- all of them. Spikes. time. Woo! <laughs> 
Gotta keep it rolling. No, come on! Yeah, this is gonna be a while, isn't it? Nearly 
made of rings. Are you? Yes, I want to restore it again. I know. A lot of restarts this long play. <laughs> yeah, you try fighting the final boss. Serious. Kidding, huh? Oh, <laughs> 
Hiding behind your little robot and fight like a man, Eggman. Why you frick? It's our. We'll kick your face in. Mostly, you can hear hints of the doom stage on this track. No! Oh, my God. 
to and fight like a man. Egghead.
Yeah, and as you can see, the time is going nuts. Fuck. Happened. I really be really good at this boss uh, fight. Guess I'm rusty. to beat that game. That's how bad it was. And yes, it cured my autism for a couple minutes. It was that bad. Oh, my God. 
Okay, I never saw something do that. And oh yeah, this connects with Sonic Forces. He's after the ruby. We'll see him again. Anyway, time to give credit where credit is due. So a lot of people worked on this game. Credit for credit is
Not bad. I guess. Nice. Well, everyone, it's been fun. But I got a bit of editing to do with this. <laughs> yeah. So, I'll see you around. Bye!